Hey y'all, I got a, an update on the Audi for you. So, uh, since I don't feel like ripping apart and building a vacuum system from, you know, 4,000 or a Quantum, not like I could even find one, but since I don't feel like it, I decided that I would go for electronic diff locks. So, um, what I did was, is I got a Raspberry Pi 3 B+, um, an LCD screen with a keyboard shield, and some servos and I've been doing some programming in Python um, I'll, uh, and uh, yeah so I've just been playing around making a menu and stuff and uh, this is all my code so if we exit out of this I will show you the interface and how I have it working That's just like the loading screen. Yeah, and then I gotta. I haven't. I don't have a screwdriver to tighten these arms down, so I just kind of randomly put them on. All right. So if you put them on there like that, as you can see, as you scroll through here, I have the screen flash green so that uh, you know that your button press is actually registering. So you can lock diffs individually you can lock them together um, lock them separately all that good stuff um, then you can check to see which diff is locked um, also I just decided to put a, a clock in there because the clock in my car probably hasn't worked since you know 1995 so I was like this would be a good chance to you know get a clock working and then, um, hold on, there we go. And then you can also reboot it. There's also an off screen function so that, you know, it's not on all the time. But yeah, you can just scroll back through it. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you all the server. Oh, here, I'll, I'll show you this real quick. So nothing's locked right now, so it'll, it'll say no differentials engaged. <coughs> and gotta scroll down. Then if we lock the center diff, that servo moves. And then when you lock the rear diff, the center one will unlock and the, the rear one will lock. Like that. And then if I want to lock them both, Only that one should move because this one's already locked, so just the center one had, center one had to lock. Uh, and then I can go here to unlock all diffs. And then it'll twist them both back to where they're supposed to be. And there you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you all want to get see some more in, in detail stuff on my code or if you want me to post or whatever, I'll just let me know and I will. But yeah, this is all I've got for you, so next will be when I get back from school, I'll go ahead and, uh, <coughs> fuck, uh, go ahead and try to figure out how to wire this and install it on my car and all that. But yeah, see ya.